This is problem number 12 from the homework. And in problem 12, uh, we've got 5r minus 4s minus 3t equals 3. We've got t equals s plus r. And we have r equals 3s s plus 1. We're going to, have to be very careful with uh, s's and make sure we don't think of them as 5's. Um, gosh, I think this one we could do by linear combination, of course, um, but we'd have to rearrange them. We're going to try something different with this guy. Because of the way it's set up, if you notice, this equation has t and it's solved for s and r. And uh, this one has R, and it just has an S with it. Um, so we could take a shot at uh, substitution with this one. And to do this, uh, I'm just going to take what T is, first of all, and I'm going to plug it into equation 1. And so I end up, by combining those with substitution, I get 5R minus 4s, minus 3 times, here comes the substitution, s plus r equals 3. And so now I'll clean that equation up. i got 5r minus 4s minus 3s minus 3r equals 3. And I'll clean that up some more. I'll combine my r's together. That's 2r's. And my s's together. That's minus 7s equals 3. That's an S right there. Okay. And now I'm going to use and get my third equation involved. I'm going to replace my R's with an equation that only has S's in it. So I go 2 times 3S plus 1 minus 7S equals 3. And continuing to clean that up, 6S plus 2 minus 7S equals 3. Like terms, that's negative s. Take the 2 to the other side, that's 1. And it looks like s is negative 1. Alright. Uh, let's keep going now. Now that I know what s is, I can come up here and I can find out what r is. It says r is 3 times s, and I get negative 3 plus 1, so it looks like r is negative 2. That looks like another answer. And then lastly, uh, I can figure out what t is because, this is r by the way, I've got this equation that says t equals s plus r. So s is negative 1 plus r, which is negative 2. Looks like t is negative 3. Okay, so that's solving it by substitution, probably the most uh, efficient way to do it. Uh, I'll turn the page here, and now I'm going to solve the same equation, or the same problem, but this time I'll do it with elimination, so you can see both of them. Or, if you prefer one over the other, you can use uh, that one. Okay. I'm going to do uh, some changing around as I write these down. The second equation has a t on the left-hand side. I'm going to take the s over to the left-hand side, making it negative. And I will take the r to the left-hand side, making it negative. And then there's nothing left on the right. And then I will take, let's see if we can find a decent color here. Um, I will take the third equation and put it in order as well. R is on the left-hand side already. The S, or negative 3S, is on the left now. And then that's all going to equal 1. Okay. So if we look at this equation, uh, or this system of equations, the first thing I'd like to notice is that this third one here is already missing the T, which means I'm going to take these two and eliminate the T as well. I'm going to rewrite the top equation, 5R minus 4S minus 3t equals 3. And I'm going to take the second equation and I'm going to multiply it by a 3. 
that will give me a positive 3t when I get done, which I want. Negative 3r minus 3s. Here's that positive 3t. I said I wanted it because now I can see right here my t's will cancel out. So I add those two together. I get this new equation, 2r minus 7s equals 3. And I've already got this purple equation, which is r minus 3s equals 1. And I'm going to use elimination now on those, and let's eliminate the r. To eliminate the r, I'll take the 1 in purple times the negative 2. And I get a new purple equation, negative 2r plus 6s equals negative 2. I bring my red one down so it lines up 2r minus 7s equals 2. And I add those together. Oops, equals 3. Sorry. Add those two together and I get negative 1s equals 1. So s equals negative 1. If we look back really quick the other side, you can see down here I also had s equals negative 1. We can work our way back up now. I'll take what s is and I'll throw it into this purple one. And the purple one will become r minus 3. s is negative 1. So r plus 3 equals 1 and r equals negative 2. Check that on the previous slide. And we'll see r equals negative 2. 2 is right there. And then finally, we'll figure out what our t value is. Um, I'll use the one in, the equation up here in green again. I'll go negative of r, so it's negative negative 2, minus s, but s is negative 1, so it's negative negative 1, plus t equals 0. That's 2 plus 1 plus t equals 0. So 3 plus t, or take that 3 to the other side, t equals negative 3. My solution is negative 2 for r, uh, negative 1, and negative 3. Negative 2, negative 1, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, negative 3. Okay, so either way you do it, you get exactly the same point at which these two planes cross.